Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. Well, it has been a wet, breezy, and cool day across the area. We've kind of pushed the rain out, at least temporarily, but we are finding a line of showers developing along a frontal boundary from uh, I-49 back into uh, areas of northeast Oklahoma. Very narrow line of showers. Most of that shower activity not producing any lightning, but we have seen a few lightning strikes with one thunderstorm passing south of Kansas City. It looks like Again, the risk overall for severe weather is going to stay very, very low. And the reason for that is just look at the instability. There's plenty of wind energy, but sometimes that can be a problem because if there's so much wind energy and there's not very much fuel to cause those storms to be very strong, those storms get sheared apart. They just they can't survive in the face of all of that wind energy. There needs to be a bit more balance. As it stands right now, it looks like we've got just a very small amount of instability just ahead of that front. And so at least for the next several hours, as that front pushes along, we have that narrow axis of instability ahead of the front, there's gonna be the risk of maybe an isolated severe storm or two. Now, right now, it looks like if that were to happen, it's gonna generally be near and north of I-44. Uh, and it looks like this risk will probably kind of come to an end around 10 o'clock or so this evening. I just want to stress also that this is a very, very low risk. If we do see a severe storm or two, the primary risk that we're going to see from that activity would be maybe some hail and some uh, strong wind gusts. But because the low level winds are so strong, can't completely rule out the possibility of maybe a weak tornado. If that were to happen, I think that would tend to be through early this evening, um, maybe the next couple of hours here along and west of I-49. As far as the hour by hour forecast, I think it's doing a pretty nice job of the timing. Uh, looks like here in Springfield, we're really not going to see too much more in the way of wet weather until the front and that line of showers moves through. And it looks like that's going to be sometime between 7 and 9 o'clock this evening. Once we get to 9, it uh, looks like the threat for showers and isolated thunderstorms is slipping east of Highway 65. By 11 o'clock, that line of showers is starting to fade over our eastern counties. And after midnight, we should see that activity pushing on off to the east. Tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up to cloudy and colder weather and lingering cloud cover, as I said. But that shouldn't last too long throughout the day. It looks like we'll eventually see mostly sunny to partly sunny conditions taking hold across the area. And all in all, not a bad day tomorrow. After a cold start, looks like about 37 for the low. Afternoon temperatures, though, will range from near 60 to the north to low to mid 60s to the southwest here in Springfield. I think we're going to manage to get into the low 60s and with the afternoon sunshine and the very light winds, it's actually going to feel pretty nice out there. As I said earlier, though, active pattern. We've got another wave of showers and thunderstorms, which will spread across parts of the area late, late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. This is going to be primarily southwest Missouri and in northern Arkansas, and those storms will bring a risk of possibly some hail as they sweep across those areas. Here's the hour by hour forecast for that. You can see through midnight Tuesday night, not much going on, but after midnight showers and thunderstorms develop off to the west and then spread southeast. But this is a quick hitting round of activity and it looks like by Wednesday afternoon we're back to partly cloudy skies and we're actually looking at warm temperatures. I think we have a shot at making it into the low 70s. That also is not the last storm. We've got more stormy weather. It looks like on Thursday another front will be pushing through. There'll be a chance for showers and thunderstorms, I think, especially Thursday afternoon into the early evening. Temperatures are going to be warm. It looks like we'll make it well into the 70s. And so there will be instability in play. We'll have to watch out for a chance maybe of some stronger storms with that. Friday looks mostly cloudy and cooler. And then the next storm, because we'll have cool temperatures around, just bringing rain to the area Friday night into Saturday morning. But it will be much chillier as we get into the weekend. We've got to remind ourselves it's still March, but we're all probably <laughs> seeing that 48 thinking, oh, no, you know. It's cold now. I, it's think cold. We're, I, think, I think we're ready to kick the cold weather out yeah, of here. That's right. We are. That's right. What's our viewers club number? Number tonight is 247-807 and our jackpot is $500. Jamie, all right, thanks. Jamie, thank you.